Business Buzz is proudly sponsored by Cayman Medical Supplies. Call them at 949-6211. Cayman Insurance Center, celebrating 45 years in the Cayman Islands, specializing in property, life, and other lines of insurance products and services. And also brought to you by FSH Design. Let your imagination grow with FSH Design. Visit fshdesign.com today. And now... The Business Buzz, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. This is where we address the business, the business topics, topics that matter. Here's your host, Sabrina Turner. Good morning, Cayman, and welcome to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, and it is a pleasure to be back. I hope you're enjoying those nice Christmas breezes. And if you're in traffic, oh, please, just turn up your volume. We've got some excellent information to share with you today and exercise some patience because it is something for all of those coming from the East that we'd have to deal with. But, you know, this morning I'm pleased to be in studio and joined by representatives from Pan American Life Insurance, Miss. April Panton, who's group manager and at Pan American Life Insurance Company, and Mr. Lester Rouse, manager. Welcome to our show. It's great to have you back. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Now, for those persons who are not aware of or may have heard about Pan American, I want you to take us back and, and, and let's hear some background information on Pan American International Insurance Corporation. So Pan American has been around for well over 100 years. Um, we've been in the Cayman Islands for well over 30 years. We have four organizations here, uh, a couple of captives, and we have a Class A and Class B that Lester and I both, um, we work in the same office. So the one company does uh, health insurance, group life, you know, medical, dental, vision, and then Lester works with the individual products on the life side, but he also can do more customized group life and disability plans. Um, like I said, Pan American has been over for, around for over 100 years. We are A-rated by AM Best and Fitch. Um, we only offer insurance cover on the human life. So we, we have been able to very specialize our products mm -hmm. because of that. So let's go a little bit more in depth of what types of health plans does your company offer? So Pan American, one of the ways we've gotten in the market on the health side is by by being able to tweak or customize our health plans. Um, our groups start at three, which is quite small, and we we will, we start from the standard health insurance contract that, that's required by law, and we sort of can build plans from there. You know, we may have a group that come to us and they have, you know, some very specific needs depending on their industry, so we can sit down and build that plan for them. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have some discount programs that, that we've offered through a certain, certain brokers, and that's helped us to come a long way as well. They are, have also been customized. We can, we can match the benefits that a group currently has if they prefer their benefits, or we can tweak them. You mm -hmm. know, they might want a little bit more wellness and a little bit less of something else or, you know, more dental or vision. Uh, but that's what we do. We, we really customize the plans for them. So we have several benefit plans on our platform. How widely accepted are your plans? Because you go to some physicians sometimes and, you know, they're like, I don't accept that. You pay up front and then claim it back. Usually our plans are accepted by all medical providers here in Cayman. We don't have what they call a closed network. Um, we have one or two doctors that are a little bit difficult at times. Usually we will verify the benefit beforehand. And what we do whenever we go out and we meet with a group we, we always have that very conversation and say, if you have a doctor that you want to go to and you're not sure, let's contact that doctor before the appointment mm -hmm. and go ahead and get you covered. One thing that, that's important to note is that when folks are on the standard health insurance contract, regardless of the insurance company that has issued that contract, a lot of doctors won't take that card up front. Mm -hmm. And that's because the benefits on it are quite low. And it's okay. very hard to see if they've utilized all of those benefits um, you know, or not. What are the most important basics that persons need to bear in mind when applying for and choosing a health plan? Right. So this is a really good question. When you are applying for your, your health insurance, you want to be completely transparent. 
Um, the laws are very much in favor of health insurance, so you want to make sure and declare everything when you fill out an application form. Mm -hmm. Be very very transparent with anything that's happened to you in your past. Give the insurance company the information they need to underwrite the risk properly. The last thing that you want to do is, you know, you've completed an application form and you forgot to put on there that you have something, you know, diabetes or, you know, and then you, you then send in claims to fill prescriptions for that, they will get declined because you didn't declare, mm -hmm. right? There are, the, the laws for pre-existing conditions, once you've been covered for the last 12 months or longer with no break in cover, you're still you're still portable and you still have that cover. Right. And what I would recommend, the, you know, the words that I'm using here are, you know, daily words for me. They're not necessarily daily words for everybody else that doesn't understand insurance. But always call the insurance company that you're dealing with or, you know, call us, 949-8304. Ask us any questions, and we will help you to get through the applications that you need. Okay, excellent. Now, why is Pan American different in the health arena? I what think, sets you apart? Yeah, I think we're different. Um, because of the customizing plans, we have a very personalized touch. We we still do a lot of hand-holding. We've not gotten so large yet that our our Clients are just a number. Mm -hmm. um, I think that makes us very different. Also, the fact that because we have the um, basket of plans that we can sort of mirror together, we can really help you know an entire group get the perfect set of benefits that, that they need. So I think that makes us quite different. I think Lester can elaborate a little bit on mirroring some of those products. Yes, basically the disability plans that we have, um, what di differentiate um, Pan American is the holistic approach that we have towards, um, first of all, the life insurance. Um, we use the income protection approach, uh, which basically addresses the five hazards that associates with one losing their income. Uh, so from that perspective, mm -hmm. uh, our approach, the holistic approach, is what more or less differentiate what we have to offer. Now, how does health insurance work? So once you have, you know, applied for your health insurance and you've gotten your ID card and your insured kit, um, your plan, you know, your plan is in place. There, we have so many different benefit plans that this can deviate just a touch. But generally speaking, you either have a deductible and or you have a copay, right? So a deductible is you have to pay the deductible where it applies before the benefits kick, kick in. in. And then a copay is you pay, usually it's 80, 20, and you pay 20% of that particular service um, and the, the insurance company pays 80. Whenever you pay money out of pocket, you the insured, uh, you always want to file a claim back with the insurance company. A lot of people say, oh, that's a pain, but you may be eligible to get some of those funds right. back. And if, and if you don't apply, if you don't submit a claim, unfortunately, the doctor's not going to submit it on your half, and the mm -hmm. insurance company doesn't have mental telepathy. So we need you <laughs> to send in the claim so we can get you reimbursed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much how it works. So your benefits run on a calendar year, so January to December. Um, so that means if you've taken out a plan in August, you're, you will have a certain amount of those benefits from August to January, and then the benefits will refresh again January 1. Okay. Okay, so that means your annual max starts again, your wellness. So most plans have two to two to $800 wellness, which usually a deductible does not ever apply. Um, those would refresh, right? So... In, in general, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. Pretty much every insurance company, when they give you your insured kit, they give you the details on how, you know, how to file a claim, how to get in touch. And I would, I would urge every person, whenever you do get that insured kit, to please go mm -hmm. through it and call, and call us with any questions. Many a times persons go and they, they shop for health insurance, but they don't ask the correct questions. Mm -hmm. And then they'll blame it on the insurance provider because they're not asking the right questions. Mm -hmm. How can you get persons out of that? Maybe there's, like you rightfully say, the lingo being used. But there's the only stupid question is the one not asked. Yeah, I think that in, definitely where the health insurance goes, um, I think Lester probably has less of that challenge than we do because mm -hmm. everybody figures it's health insurance. Yeah. I, I know all about it. You know, I don't need to hear it. I don't want to, mm -hmm. you know. 
people don't realize how utterly important health insurance is until you're in a position that you need it and you have yeah. no idea how to use it. You're quite right. Um, I, I agree with you. The only the only stupid question is the one not ask. I urge every every person that we meet, just call us. Mm-hmm. Ask me whatever questions you have. I mean, we have questions. We could we we get questions that we don't really <laughs> want to have, right? Um, but we do get questions, and we we will say, okay, the question you're wanting to ask is is you know how does my deductible work or yeah. how do my out of patient mm-hmm. benefits work when i go to the doctor what happens then and by and large people are mostly interested in what happens when i just go to a regular doctor mm-hmm. you know and and i need to get a prescription filled but because pretty much those are the benefits yeah. they need so we try to always explain those right in the beginning mm-hmm. and then i give out my number um, the, all the girls, we give out our number. It sounds terrible, but people call us or they WhatsApp us all the time. You know, what, what do I do about this? How do I go to the dentist? How do I? So I think the, the good thing there is just having the lines of communication sure. always open and always being accessible. Now, how long can children <laughs> stay on their parents' plan? Uh, in the Cayman Islands, as long as they're fully financially or fully physically dependent on the main insured, they can stay on the plan until age 30. Now, each insurance company has their own ways of verifying that. But for Pan American, you would need to send in an affidavit. You would need to verify that they are fully financially and fully physically and or fully physically dependent right. um, on you in order to keep them on their plan. Can a policyholder get up to 75% of their income as benefit? And how long would they receive this for? Okay. okay. Before answering that question... Let me share a little insight into Pan American's approach to life insurance. Uh, first of all, most persons associate life insurance with debt. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is no one likes to talk about debt. But debt is only one of five hazards that can affect someone's income. So besides debt, the other hazards are accident, sickness, disability, and old age. Mm-hmm. So ideally, persons should have life insurance to cover all those hazards. Getting back to the question you asked, with respect to the 75% of one's income, that is associated with the three hazards, accident, sickness, and disability, whereby we can provide persons without up to 75% of their income in the event of an accident or sickness And that benefit can be payable continuously for one year, two years, or five years. So the package that we offer is very attractive, Mm -hmm. and the person can decide exactly what type of package they want, um, how long they want that package for in terms of the paying the benefit. Okay. What happens if a policyholder has another, an, an accident or sickness How does that work? Okay. Well, if someone has the plan that has both the accident and sickness disability income, the benefit is paid when the person, for the length of time, the person is away from work. So if someone has an accident, for example, and they have a benefit which pays $2,000 per month, once that person is away from work, if they are away from work for the full month, we will pay the Mm $2,000. However, that benefit is prorated. So it means that even if somebody is away from work for one day or a week, we prorate the benefit down to that and particular time, right? Basically, two forms need to be completed if a claim is being submitted. One is completed by the employer, which would confirm the length of time the person has been away from work. Mm-hmm. And the second one is, con- is, is completed by the physician, whereby the physician would basically state what is the incident um, and how long, uh, how much sick leave they gave the person. When those two forms are submitted to us, then we pay the claim. And you see how they could very easily <coughs> m- mar- m- marry yes. together, right? Because if you've been ill and you're in hospital um, and you're out of work for six weeks, eight weeks, you're likely not, you know, th- you've got your medical mm-hmm. benefits, so you're, you, you're cl- claiming on your health insurance. You're likely not getting paid any longer or not getting full pay by Correct. the employer. So you're able, if you have taken out this particular policy, you're able to supplement your income mm-hmm. while, you know, you're you know, da- down and you're out, healing, so to yeah. speak. Yeah, well, you know, you're getting yourself back together. So it's really helpful for when 
you know, the bills don't stop coming no, in and the children don't stop needing being fed exactly. and, you know, um, just because you're not well. What what we also emphasize is the fact that regardless of how good your health insurance plan is, even if you have the best health insurance plan, there is one thing no health insurance plan would do for you, and that is pay your income. So as April said, marrying the two benefits means that even if you have the best health insurance plan, which covers all your bills and mm -hmm. and so forth, um, then you have the income that comes in while you're away from work. Correct. You're in tune to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz as we put the spotlight and hear more from representatives from Pan American Life Insurance Group. we got to pay some bills when we come back. We'll ask the question, what happens if one becomes sick while overseas? And we get an idea as well. We're talking about all these great plans, but what and how hard would it hit our purse? Keep it locked to the Business Buzz for more when we come back. The Cayman Islands boasts of a long, colorful, and rich history. In tribute to our roots, Radio Cayman, the voice of the Cayman Islands, is pleased to bring you the historical vignette series sponsored by Cayman National Bank. Visit Cayman National Bank today for all of your financial needs. The Cayman Islands, he hath founded it upon the seas. At the start of the 20th century, life in the Cayman Islands was without question hard, with little in the way of material comfort. However, this sustenance living was more healthy and self-reliance was strong, and families were closely united. Farming and fishing were key to a family's survival. When it came to meat products, free-running pigs resembling Berkshires of England and chickens were kept, along with hunting wild bird, land crabs, and agouti. However, fish and conch were far more commonplace. When it came to carbohydrate intake, flour and rice were imported and considered a luxury. A more affordable means was to rely on ground provisions, including cassava, potato, corn, beans, squash, yams, cocos, breadfruit, bananas, plantain, coconuts, sugarcane, and various other fruits. Radio Cayman's Historical Facts Vignettes are proudly brought to you by Cayman National with branches on all three Cayman Islands. Visit Cayman National Bank today for all of your financial needs. Five hundred and forty months. Sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty-five days. Three hundred and ninety-four thousand two hundred hours. Forty-five years. That's how long we've been committed to serving you, and we won't stop there. Over the years, we have proudly grown with Cayman, making a difference in the community. That's why we're here to stand by you. We are Cayman National, and we thank you for standing by us for forty-five years and counting. Oh, oh gosh. <sighs> Don't let the stress of taking care of loved ones get you down. Home care, now made easier with Cayman Medical Supplies. 100% Caymanian owned, Cayman Medical Supplies now stocks a wide range of home care supplies. Hospital beds, all types of wheelchairs, including beach access wheelchairs, lifts, commodes, shower chairs, walkers, Curad brand orthopedic supplies, free blood glucose monitors with the purchase of one pack of test strips, blue underpads, and a whole lot more. Need home care convenience? Drop by Cayman Medical Supplies at 93 Smith Road, Windward Center, or call 949-6211. Free delivery. Homeowners, protecting your family and property is crucial during the season, and you should always assess insurance needs long before a storm makes landfall. Most insurers won't issue policies when a storm is imminent. Cayman Insurance Center's team of professionals can help owners like you find the most comprehensive coverage and competitive rates. Call Michael Webster today at 925-5433 or Denise Brown at 814-7229. Don't take chances with your family's future or your valuable assets. Call, Call Michael, Michael and, and Denise, Denise today at Cayman Insurance, Insurance Center. Center. Marketing. It is the key that no business can live without. From social media to Google ads, websites to app development, or even graphic design to video commercials, FSH Design is here to help you and your business succeed. We focus on personalized digital marketing and offer advertising consultations for each of our clients. Don't waste time. We want to help you reach your marketing goals today. We work directly with you and your business to generate a strategic marketing plan that will develop current and creative results. Check out our website at fshdesign.com.
ValuMed Pharmacy is your community care partner for health and wellness needs. We offer convenient prescription processing at the counter and online at value-medpharmacy.com. That's V-A-L-U-MedPharmacy.com. With pickup available at the Walkers Road or Bodentown location. We also accept transfer prescriptions from other pharmacies. More than just a pharmacy, shop ValuMed for personal care and beauty products from trusted brands, perfume and gift sets, Hallmark and greeting cards, baby clothes, footwear, handbags, swimwear, home decor, toys, school supplies, and stationery, and home convalescence aids like wheelchairs, walkers, crutches, canes, and hospital beds. With two locations to serve you, Walkers Road in Georgetown and in Evron Plaza, Bodentown. Visit ValuMed, more than just a pharmacy. Welcome back to the Business Buzz, the business topics that matter, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Welcome back to the Business Buzz. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, and the Business Buzz is brought to you every Tuesday and Thursday from approximately 7.30 until 9 a.m. In this segment, we we are pleased to learn more and hear from Pan American Life Insurance representatives in studio with me. I'm pleased to be joined by Ms. April Panton and Mr. Lester Rouse. Now, does the coverage cover the policyholder? If they, let's say, have an accident or even got sick while it's overseas, yes, on the health side for sure, um, that would if they were if it was an emergency situation that would be covered under their emergency benefit. If they, however, just fell ill uh, again, mm-hmm. what happened is that that provider overseas would make contact with the insurance company and say, you know, I have your insured here. What are their benefits? So, ab- absolutely, that does kick in. With respect to disability coverage. Both accident and sickness Mm -hmm. is 24-hour worldwide coverage. So when persons are traveling, um, once they have this plan with us, we allow them to have the form uh, downloaded electronically or they can have a hard copy that they can carry with them. That form is a form that needs to be filled out by the medical practitioner abroad. So if they have an incident, the medical practitioner will fill out that form and confirm the length of time the sick leave given. Um, That form is very, very critical for us to pay the claim. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is covered 24 hours worldwide coverage. Now, could the disability plan that is being offered by Pan American Insurance be used by banks for mortgage purposes? Yes and no. Yes in the sense that the bank the bank's interest is having insurance that would cover the the borrower in the event of any kind any form of debt mm-hmm. debt total total debt um, the disability plans covers accidental debt only so what you find is that the banks might be a bit reluctant to accept the disability plans because they cover accidental debt however what we have found is that in some cases if someone is basically uninsurable or having difficulties having getting life insurance the banks tend to be a bit lenient and they would accept the disability plan even though it only covers accidental debt now what makes your plans that your company offers different from the others what sets you apart uh, well, basically, as I said previously, the, the holistic approach that we use towards life insurance coverage, um, we can use that approach simply because we have the products that can cover basically the five hazards. And not many insurers have the, the wide range of products that we have. So when we meet a client and we do a complete fact finding with the client and we realize the client has a, a, a shortfall or a gap in their coverage. Most times that shortfall falls along the lines of accident, sickness, and disability. And the range of products that we have to cover those um, risk, um, other insurers basically don't have that range of products. Yeah, it's the ability to, mm. to, to customize a plan right. for that particular group. Mm. And, 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 you know, make it just for them and marry marry the different plans together so that they do have a full, uh, you know, suite of products cover. Now, we're hearing all of these different plans. What, what are the costs associated with them? Well, to be honest, the disability packages start as low as $1 per day for everyone. 
Uh, we have some packages that even starts as low as $22 per month uh, for, for certain individuals. This is CI um, or US we're talking well, about? You can, take, you can have the plan both in CI or US. Okay. So if you take it out in US, the premiums and the benefits are all paid in US and mm-hmm. vice versa. So in fact, um, that's a very good question because someone can take out a plan for $1 per day US and then with the exchange that works out even less than a dollar per mm-hmm. in, in CI. So that's the cost. And of course, um, based on each person's uh, needs will be different. So we can go as high as, 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 you know, as possible. Right. And the same on the health insurance on our, our standard plans for some of our discount programs, our rates start pretty low. Um, again, but every person is underwritten. So it's really important that the age factor, the health of the person is going to be taken into consideration um, all, all of that is is determined when we're doing the fact finding, as okay. as Lester mentioned before. So, a younger, healthier person obviously is going to have lower rates than somebody that comes to us a little bit later on in life. Um, on a group side, on the medical though, the the larger the group, the the more risk I can, the more lives I can spread my risk, right? right? So that also helps to keep to Premiums. keep the rate, yeah, to keep the rates down. Mm-hmm. What disability coverage is available specifically for persons with cancer? Well, the thing about life insurance on a whole is that you take out life insurance in the event of an occurrence. So someone can can take out, cannot take out life insurance if they already have mm-hmm. an issue, right? So with the cancer, the cancer plan is, is is a tailor-made plan. It's very attractive, and it's it's geared towards those persons who do not have cancer. Having said that. What you find is that in a person's household, their immediate family, if there's a prevalence of cancer with their parents or grandparents or so forth, and you feel as though you are at high risk of developing cancer, those are the persons we implore to to, to take out this plan Mm -hmm. as a protection. What happens to an insurance plan if someone is rolled over, understanding that we have a lot of transient persons in our jurisdiction? So on the health insurance, once they leave Cayman, we, we, they would then be taken off the plan. However, if they've purchased an indipid, individual personal accident product with Lester, um, yeah. he, he, can, he can explain what yeah, they can yes. do. Yes, the, 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 the personal accident products are 24-hour worldwide coverage, and each person has their individual plan. Um, simply put, if they are relocated to another, another jurisdiction, all that is required is that the premium needs to be paid, but the plan remains in force and the same benefits are applicable for the jurisdiction that they are in. Now, time flies when we're having fun and there's a lot of information that we've covered this morning. How can persons get in contact with you and where your office is located? Okay, so we are located at <coughs> Unit 221 Cannon Place East. That's formerly Marco Center in Industrial Park. Um, they can call the office, 949-8304, or they can call me on myself for the, the health side of things. That's 916-5080. Uh, with respect to the individual disability plans, I can be reached on my cell, 925-8262. Okay. Well, time is against us, and I hope that well, I'll, I'll speak with you again to get some updates on your products and services. Ms. Pannon, Mr. Rouse, it has been a pleasure, and I wish you continued success to you and your team. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Stay tuned for more of the Business Buzz after the 8 o'clock news, sports, and weather update. Over to you, Susan. Thank you, Sabrina, and studio time now by Price Right is 7.59. Price Right is Grand Cayman's warehouse shopping superstore. Making your dollar go further with huge savings and no membership fees. Get more of the things you use every day at the right price. But it's not just grocery and health and beauty. Price Right has a full range of products from office to automotive, patio furnishings to kitchen appliances, and even electronics. And since warehouse prices mean savings for you, everything is priced right at Price Right. Grand Cayman's warehouse store. The voice of the Cayman Islands. 89.9 FM in Grand Cayman and 93.9 FM in Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. Silver wings shining in the sunlight. Radio Cayman. The 8 a.m. news is brought to you by Sagicor. Let us put a smile on your face. Call 949-8211. 
your voice, your choice for today's biggest news. Radio Cayman, the voice of the Cayman Islands. The 8 a.m. news is brought to you by Sagicor. Let us put a smile on your face. Call 949-8211. With your latest news, I'm Carsley Fuller. Financial Services Minister the Honorable Tar River says a number of new initiatives at the General Registry are already underway, in particular, greater access to information about local companies. The department introduced inspection by applicants of the registers of directors and, where applicable, alternate directors for exempted, ordinary, and non-resident companies. Minister Rivers says there is also a list of current managers for limited liabilities companies available for inspection by applicants. The minister described the changes as a positive response to recommendations by the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force to strengthen Cayman's anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing regime. Today is International Men's Day, and the Family Resource Center has a slew of scheduled events that will bring together boys and men in the community to celebrate this year's theme, Men Leading by Example. Program facilitator Anne-Marie Diaz says the activities hope to provide a safe space for the male community. The real main point of it is to shed light on issues that really affect men and boys. For our men to notice that they are being recognized, that there are agencies out here that care about them and what their needs are, that we wish for them to even be more involved, even more public about the positivity that they do have in the community, but not just them, but all of us to recognize that. The FRC is inviting boys and men to attend the Men's Shed Workshop, an inclusive environment where participants can gather and work on projects on November 23rd at A.L. Thompson's, as well as a basketball tournament November 30th at the John Gray High School Gymnasium. There will be featured booths on display to further raise awareness of health issues. You can also nominate a man who leads by example in their month-long social media campaign. For more information, call 949-0006 or visit frc.ky. And members of the public recently had an opportunity to find out more about the inner workings of the Health Services Authority's radiology department. More from Radio K-Man's Shanda Gallego. During the tour, persons taking part learned more about their services and the latest equipment, such as the cutting-edge 3D digital mammography machine that improves the early detection of breast cancer and provides a more comfortable experience for patients. Guests were also able to meet the specialists and support staff behind the scenes. The event was part of National Radiological Technology Week, an annual celebration that calls attention to the important role medical imaging and radiation therapy professionals play in patient care and healthcare safety. Reporting for Rodicaman News, I'm Shanda Gallego. Now with a check of international news, here's the BBC, which will take us out of the newscast. I'm Carsley Fuller from Radio Cayman's Newsroom. BBC News with Danielle Yawavietska. The Taliban have released two hostages, an American and an Australian, held captive since 2016 as part of a prisoner swap with the Afghan government. The move is seen as key to achieving talks between the two sides. Three Taliban commanders have also been freed in exchange. The Lebanese parliament has postponed a session to discuss an amnesty law, which critics say could have allowed corrupt officials to evade justice. Protesters had tried to stop it going ahead by blocking roads. The US and South Korea have abruptly broken off talks on the cost of stationing American troops on the peninsula. There are reports that the US is demanding a huge increase in payments. China has said the courts in Hong Kong have no power to rule on constitutional issues. The announcement follows a decision by Hong Kong's High Court on Monday that a ban on protesters wearing face masks was unconstitutional. Up to 200 demonstrators are still thought to be barricaded inside Hong Kong's Polytechnic University, which has been under siege by the police since Sunday. 600 activists have already given themselves up. Reports from Malta say a suspected money launderer arrested last week has asked for a pardon in exchange for information about who ordered the murder of the investigative journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia. She'd been looking into alleged high-level corruption when she was killed in 2017. At least 15 people, mostly young children, are now known to have died in a measles epidemic sweeping the Pacific island nation of Samoa. The UN's Children Agency has confirmed more than 1,000 cases of the disease, which is preventable with vaccination. BBC News. Think about something that makes you happy. Did it make you smile? We know it did, because that's what we do at Sagicor. Put smiles on our clients' faces every day. 
With a large range of products to cover your family, it's no wonder most locals choose Sagicor for their life insurance needs. Serving the community for over 25 years, let us put a smile on your face. Call your Sagicor advisor today. Stay in touch with Radio Cayman for the latest in news and information. Follow Radio Cayman on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Download the Radio Cayman app or log on to our website, www.radiocayman.gov.ky. Radio Cayman, your voice, your choice, your radio. Put a brand new 2020 Chevrolet Equinox Premier under your tree this Christmas and enjoy the most equipped SUV in its class with foot sensor liftgate, four-wheel drive, panoramic sunroof, ventilated leather seats, wireless phone charge, parking assist, front collision sensor, rear vision camera, remote vehicle start, and a 1.5 liter turbo engine. Whew. And the best part is, buy now and pay nothing until next year. Visit the showroom on Owen Roberts Drive for a test drive or visit advancedchevrolet.com to start enjoying your Christmas early. Cayman Brack, yes, it is your turn. The Breeze Fusion 5K Walk Run. The Brack Breeze Fusion 5K Walk Run is almost here. To all of our Brack families, join us on Saturday, November 30th at 6.30 a.m. Southside Public Beach. Let's go. Make no excuses now. I'm talking here and now. Register today at, at District, District Administration. Administration. Radio Cayman 3 to 6 mix on the weekdays. Brought to you by. Brought to you by. Cayman Insurance Center. Serving the community for 45 years. Don't take chances with your family's future. Call Denise Brown at 814-7229. Or Michael Webster at 925-5433. Every day. Every day. All the time. All the time. <laughs> also brought to you by Meringue Town. It's time to feel the rhythm. Time to feel the vibe. It's time for Meringue. Attention West Bay residents, join the Cayman Islands government and Verdant Isle Port Partners at a public meeting this evening, Tuesday 19th November, to discuss the cruise port project. The meeting starts at 7 p.m. and will take place at the John A. Comber School Hall and all are welcome to attend. Refreshments will be provided. The Weather Report is proudly sponsored by Super Stitch Sewing and Fabric Center, your one-stop household store at 39 Pasador Place, Smith Road. Still offering the best prices in town. Call 949-2833 or go to superstitch.com.ky. New, New stock, stock has just, just arrived, arrived at Super Stitch. Stitch. Now don't take my word for it. Drop by and see for yourself. Fresh off the boat, we have we loads have of fabric, fabric vinyl, vinyl, upholstery, upholstery fabric, fabric, fabric for cushions, outdoor fabrics, and dress fabric. That's not all. Super Stitch has sewing accessories and craft items. Included in the new shipment, you will find sheets, comforters, throw pillows, bath mats, rugs, and curtains for every room in your home. Super Stitch, 39 Pasador Place, Smith Road. Still, Still offering, offering the offering best, best price, price in, town. in town. Call 949-2833 or go to superstitch.com.ky. Good morning. Time now for the latest weather report. Current temperature is 78. Relative humidity is 72%. Barometric pressure 29.92 inches and rising. The wind is north at 3 knots. Overnight low temperature was 71 degrees. Synopsis indicate cloudy skies along with light to moderate northerly winds and seas will continue across the Cayman area for the next 24 hours as a high-pressure system builds over the eastern United States. Radar images show isolated showers over the Cayman area moving southeast. Another forecast for today calling for partly cloudy to cloudy skies with a 20% chance of showers. Temperatures will be in the low 80s. Your winds will be northerly at 5 to 10 knots, becoming 10 to 50 knots by this evening. Seas will be slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. Forecast for tonight, pretty much the same, partly cloudy to cloudy skies with a 20% chance of showers and temperatures will dip to the low 70s tonight. Your winds will be north to northeast at 5 to 10 knots and seas will be slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. Expect a low tide this morning at 12 minutes past 9, high tide this afternoon at 4 minutes after 4 and a low tide again tonight at 1047. The sun will set this evening at 5.45 and will rise tomorrow morning at 6.36. And the outlook is calling for moderate northeast winds from tomorrow morning, becoming fresh from Thursday night. 
That's the very latest on your weather report. Superstitch Sewing and Fabric Center was a proud sponsor of The Weather Report, your one-stop shop for all of your household items, craft items, jewelry, beads, and decorations, and much more. Call Superstitch at 949-2833 or email customer care at superstitch.com.ky. New, New stock, stock has just, just arrived, arrived at Superstitch. Super now don't take my word for it. Drop by and see for yourself. Fresh off the boat, we have we loads have of fabric, fabric vinyl, vinyl, upholstery fabric, 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 fabric for cushions, outdoor fabrics, and dress fabric. That's not all. Superstitch has sewing accessories and craft items. Included in the new shipment, you will find sheets, comforters, throw pillows, bath mats, rugs, and curtains for every room in your home. Superstitch, 39 Pasador Place, Smith Road. Still, Still offering, offering the best the price, price in town. In town. Call 940. 2833 or go to superstitch.com.ky from happy beginnings to happy ever after. Brit K protects your lifestyle with the best insurance cover at the best possible price. Health insurance with far-reaching benefits. 95% of claims settled in five days. Low-cost life insurance. And investments. Security in retirement. With a custodian pension plan. For happy beginnings and a happy ever after. Visit BritK.ky or call 949-8699. Brit K, where people come first. Imagine a Cayman where you can go out and enjoy an evening with your family and get home safe and sound because you decided to do exactly what you said you would. Or a night out with your girlfriends to bring in the new year with plans to head to as many venues as you can. What about a happy hour with your colleagues to celebrate without worrying about who was driving home? Well, guess what? Your wish is my command. Take the pledge, designate a driver, or ride the Purple Ribbon bus on New Year's Eve. We want you to arrive alive, 345. This message was brought to you by Radio Cayman and the National Drug Council. Hi, my name is Neraya LeBlanc. I am the ministering evangelist to the West Bay Church of Christ on 24 Batabano Road. I would love to take this opportunity to invite you to experience God's family at West Bay for yourself. We are a caring congregation that strongly believes in reaching out beyond ourselves to spread the gospel of Christ. We also take great pleasure in ministering to the needs of our people in our community. As God's called out kingdom people, we are in the business of transforming lives for the master's use. For more information, you can visit our website at westbychurchofchrist.org or call us at 946-9294 or 917-1809. Cayman Islands Church of Christ presents Word of the Lord. Word of the Lord. Heard Sundays at 6.30 p.m. on Radio Cayman. The traffic report is brought to you by Subway. Planning a meeting, event, or office celebration? Visit subway.ky to place your catering order today. Do you ever have those days when you have to get a super early start or you're out late and want something fresh and healthy to eat? Subway has now opened their fourth 24-hour location for you early birds and night owls. Subway at West Shore Center on 7 Mile is now open 24 hours. So now you can grab any of Subway's fresh menu items any time of the day at four convenient locations. West Shore Center 7 Mile, Countryside in Savannah, Anderson Square in Georgetown, and Centennial Towers West Bay. Subway, eat fresh. Good morning once again. Let's take a look at traffic. Bumper to bumper traffic on the Linford Pearson Highway. Lots and lots of patience needed this morning as you make your way to Georgetown. Also, traffic is steady in some sections of Coo Road. Coo Road other sections busy. Coming off of Bobby Thompson Way, steady traffic. Looking towards the West Bay four-way stop area. Traffic flowing nicely. And moderate flow of traffic on Godfrey Nixon Way and Eastern Avenue. Meanwhile, on Edward Street and Shedden Road, things are looking pretty good as traffic flowing nicely. Light traffic on Owen Roberts Drive. And that's the very latest on your traffic. Join us again at about 10 minutes after 12. We'll update you once again with another traffic report right here on Radio Cayman. The traffic report is brought to you by Subway. Planning a meeting, event, or office celebration? Visit Subway.ky to place your catering order today. Welcome back to the Business Buzz. The business topics that matter. An insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. 
Good morning and welcome back to Radio K-Man's Business Buzz. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, and uh, this segment, we're pleased to put the spotlight and hear more on Dready Art. It is my pleasure to welcome in studio, Mr. Sheen Akar. Welcome. Good morning, Sabrina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And I'd like to take this opportunity to give a quick shout out to some great supporters over there at work. Yes, the call center, Jackie and her team, Toon Lee and Michelle, they're great supporters of the show. And like like so, all other departments, we know that you're in this transition phase and we appreciate all that you do. And thank you for your continued support. Without further ado, give us some history and how you first got started, Mr. Carr. I um, first got started. I started um, really doing T-shirts and, and postcards um, for back in sort of 2004. Um, and they were really sort of Caribbean cliche uh, drawings, <laughs> if, you, if you will. Uh, and from, from that, um, it just sort of gradually progressed on into a business to do with, with the art more than the... the um, the merchandise. Okay. So it must take a lot to operate an art business. Tell us a little bit about that and the inspiration that keeps you at it. What inspires you? Well, you know, I don't think I've ever drawn one of these things that hasn't made me smile. Um, so that, that, that keeps me going. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, they're, they're the same old thing that everybody else has. There's, there's bills to pay. There's, there's children to put through school. Um, and then it, it doesn't hurt that you have a joyous little business that, that makes you happy. Why not? Yeah. So you actually take your stress out on these characters that comes in your head. Yeah. You must be quite funny. Um, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> how, how to answer that question? I don't know. And I don't know if I take my stress out on it. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice way to go about, uh, about living a life. What best describes your art and what kind of feedback have you been receiving from customers? Uh, um, I, I guess I, I think of the art as, as being a, a sort of mashup between between pop and, and poster art. Um, I don't know why those things have ended up in my in my head because mm -hmm. those are those are things from um, before I was thoughtful. But um, yeah, uh, that, that's that's how I, how I I feel about it. it. It's a little bit different than both of those things in that it has this little twist of, of whimsy to it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What are the main items persons can find through Dready World? Oh, well, through Dready World itself, it, it's mostly um, prints and original commissions. Mm -hmm. But um, the the National Gallery sells. Um, Dreaded drawing books, um, dreaded pencil cases, uh, dreaded coffee cups, dreaded note cards. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you uh, ever see your business actually going with all of these merchandise? Um, uh, yeah, I, well, that that was where it sort of 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 started. It started in that fashion with merchandise, and then I just sort of um, drifted away from that, uh, and and now I come back to it in a in a small way, rather than trying to fill shops with with um with dready merchandise uh <clears throat> i look at the merchandise more as a as a marketing mm -hmm. tool I, I gave you some bookmarks this morning yes. the bookmarks are free i give them away as as gifts um we did some flip-flops last year um and um yeah it's you know marketing really now i understand that there are plans to offer your art on other mediums for 2020 can you tell us more about that yeah i think as an extension of of uh, of what i what i was saying um so come 2020 i think we'll do some posters so that we can get um price points down on a on a few items mm -hmm. um uh, the posters i've decided that the posters would be only on those uh those prints that are for fundraising, mm -hmm. um, like the lionfish. The lionfish print um, is a strictly fundraising print, uh, and there are a couple of others that, that fundraise for various um, various charities. Now, where did the name Dready be linked to your business? Yeah. Where you want to go? Um, so, so Dready Dready came about because um, <laughs> the original character. The, I told you that it was a caribbean cliche kind of thing and so the two original characters two stick figure characters were were dready and his missus who was mildred mm -hmm. um 
And because I had to put that that copyright signature on everything I did, mm -hmm. uh, even when I moved away from doing just that, the copyright signature just became the signature, which then became what people call me. Dready. Dready. <laughs> now, how long does it usually, from the idea to creation, the the final print, how long does that entire process take? Um, uh, the, I think... Like with all things, the the longest part of the story is is thinking about what it is that you're gonna put on, you know, what it is that you're gonna draw. Mm -hmm. um, so that can take quite a while to to um, sort of come to your head, especially with the commissions. People come and they want um, a portrait, or or they want they want something to hang on their wall. You need time to think about how that might look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once that's done takes me sort of four, five solid days of, of work. I, and when I say five days of work, I mean five, you know, working days in that, in that bank sense where it's only, you know, um, it might take me 10 days, but it's five, mm -hmm. eight-hour days mm -hmm. in, in which to do it, yeah. And it's quite intensive. Where do you pull your inspiration from? Do you have actually friends that surround you, family members that you would actually draw these characters and they don't even realize it's them? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. This this one, mm, stretch for that one. This one here. So uh -huh. that that's, that. I mean, I know it's a stick figure, but that's me and my two children oh my. dancing. I went to visit them at, at, at school uh -huh. and um, my daughter broke out some soko mm -hmm. and we were in a park and we started dancing and so that's a, a representation of of the three of us See, dancing you do have a sense of humor yeah. <laughs> now what does it take in order to develop and operate your own art business um well you, you know a couple of things um hustle doesn't doesn't hurt you you know uh, and i think that's that's the big thing it um I've had this discussion with friends who are artists before. So some, some people feel that their job as an artist is to paint or to draw mm -hmm. or, or to create sculptures. For me, that's not my job. My job is selling art. And as a process of selling art, then I get to draw it. Right. Yeah. Well, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> How important is branding to a business, in your opinion? I think branding branding is extremely important. It differentiates you from from everybody else. Um, so you can look at at Dreddy Art and and you see some sort of simplicity uh, to it, and you think, eh, you know, mm -hmm. what's that all about? But it is very specific. Um, when I first started to do it, I sat down with a bunch of guys um, in a marketing company. Uh, that I was part of, and we worked on the colors, the layouts, and um, these these bookmarks are hardly any different than the ones that that preceded them. Mm -hmm. In essence, they they're the same, um, and so getting that strong brand idea and carrying it through means that that dread is kind of unique. But it's been thought about in a, right. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way. Yeah. Now, do you have to constantly work to cultivate your brand to keep it in at the forefront yeah, to the customer? Yeah, of, of course. Um, you, want, you don't want to get lost. You don't want to get lost. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate. I, I'm, uh, you know, when you look at dreadiness on a wall, it stands out. Mm -hmm. And that's I, I'm, I'm lucky for that, you know. Um, I might have worked hard at it, but I'm still I'm still lucky in that in that sense. Um, but yeah, you, you have to keep you have to keep thinking about being relevant. Um, you know, as I started out drawing very basic stick figures, people used to have to help me translate them to um, to to paper or to computer screens. Uh, I then learned how to draw better. As I learned how to draw, there were demands people had for for different things, and I tried to provide that. Um, and then just the general daily hustling of, you know, nowadays you you got to work the internet, um, and and I try to do that as part of my job. Now, did you ever see yourself as an artist? No, you know when when we joke about it, um, uh, sitting around a dinner table or something i i say that i'm a salesman that that mm -hmm. draws uh that draws <laughs> yeah because you got to sell what you yeah, what yeah, your pieces yeah, yeah your opinion how has the art economy 
in the Cayman Islands? It's actually, you know what, it's pretty good. Um, uh, it's probably very good. When, when you consider the the, um, the disposable income of people, the um, the often the transience um, of of this society where people are coming and going, um, so people are you know people arrive and want to refresh mm-hmm. their house. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the building that is going on, which you and I were talking about mm-hmm. earlier, um, you know, there's always a wall to fill. Uh, people have money here, um, which helps. You know, when when you try to sell art in a place like like Jamaica, um, uh, it's completely different than right. selling art here. Um, so yeah, it's a very good, and there's lots of spaces to hang. Mm-hmm. Vibrant young young people around, you know, in a small space, inspiring one another and helping one another out. Yeah. It makes a world of a difference does, in the yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah. Are persons more appreciative of the hard work of artists, crafts, and artisans, you feel? I don't think so. Not, not, not usually. There's always, you know, there's all that, always that joke around the art world um, where people ask you, they, they tell you that they'll, they'll, um, uh, they'll display your art mm-hmm. um, uh, for, for the purpose of marketing. And I think that's, you know, for artisans, and when you weave a basket, mm-hmm. you know, the hours of labor that go into weaving a basket versus what you can sell it for, for is is tough. Um, art that hangs on the wall is a little better um, because people see it in a different different light um, and a different value, I guess. Um, but it's still, yeah, you know. Do you think that appreciation and putting artisans like yourselves in a spotlight like this will actually give more value and appreciation to persons think, like I, that i think so always the, the, you know the more the more um the more exposure that, yeah the more exposure but uh, and the more people that people realize that um you know that it is for a lot of people is a real job mm-hmm. yeah um not not just me the fortunate one but um Lots of people who work who work hard at it uh, spend hours and hours of of thought, and then the physical work of of drawing, right. um, or painting, or crafting a sculpture, uh, or weaving a basket. Um, you know, because a lot of it is is in the it's it's your brain it's your brain on on show that you're selling. It's not not the time that it took you to draw it. Yeah. Interesting, interesting line. It's a brain on show. But how are you able then to protect your brand for succession so that after you're gone, it lives on? Yeah. Is that even possible yeah. in, 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 a, in an artist's world? Of course. You, you know, there's a there's a guy here who's... There's a guy here who's a great example of that. Uh, guy Harvey, you know? Because um, he, he is a major brand. And... So what I do, everything that I draw is stuck on a computer. Um, I provide it to the lawyers every now and again, quarterly. I um, tuck it away somewhere. Uh, in my filing system, I try to um, draw out things like, you know, you'll see male characters and female characters. Mm-hmm. In my filing system, all the male characters that I've drawn are stuck in a file. The female characters are stuck. Trees are stuck. So. Um, if somebody ever wanted to come and put them together after I am gone, then it's uh, I'm trying to make that fairly easy for mm-hmm. them as a mm-hmm. progress. It, it's it's different for me than than say a guy who paints straight to to canvas um, and doesn't like selling prints. You know that becomes a different world. But if you're like me, a commercial um, a commercial guy working in art, then yeah. You're in tune to Radio Cayman's business, right, business Buzz right here on Radio Cayman, where we keep you in the know about various business topics and information. In this segment, we put the spotlight on Dreddy Art to find out more on the type of art being offered and what it's like to operate an art business. We'll take a break. When we'll come back, we'll understand the, the, the demands for what trends are in, uh, being sought after right now and um, networking, being supportive of other artists artist. Keep it locked to Radio K-Man for more after these messages. 
homeowners. Protecting your family and property is crucial during the season, and you should always assess insurance needs long before a storm makes landfall. Most insurers won't issue policies when a storm is imminent. Cayman Insurance Center's team of professionals can help owners like you find the most comprehensive coverage and competitive rates. Call Michael Webster today at 925-5433 or Denise Brown at 814-7229. Don't take chances with your family's future or your valuable assets. Call, Call Michael, Michael and, and Denise, Denise today at Cayman Insurance Center. Center. Marketing. It is the key that no business can live without. From social media to Google ads, websites to app development, or even graphic design to video commercials, FSH Design is here to help you and your business succeed. We focus on personalized digital marketing and offer advertising consultations for each of our clients. Don't waste time. We want to help you reach your marketing goals today. We work directly with you and your business to generate a strategic marketing plan that will develop current and creative results. Check out our website at fshdesign.com. America's number one acne brand, Proactive, is now in stock at Healthcare Pharmacy in Grand Harbor. Take care of your skin and stop chasing pimples with Proactive. Their combination therapy approach is a preventative strategy that gives you a complete, multi-step skincare regimen and acne-fighting medicine. Proactive attacks acne at every stage of the cycle. Proactive is recommended by dermatologists for a reason. It works. Ask for Proactive at Healthcare Pharmacy in Grand Harbor. Welcome back to the Business Buzz, the business topics that matter, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Welcome back to the Business Buzz, keeping the spotlight on Dreddy Art with Mr. Sheen Akar in studio with me telling me more. And if you're streaming live on YouTube, you can see some of the beautiful bookmarkers that he brought here just to give you an idea of, of what he's actually talking about here with me this morning. Now, what are some of the general trends in the Cayman art scene that you're experiencing here in Cayman? Trends? Hmm. I don't. I don't know that I'm. Are they buying more? Or are they asking for well, specific things? No, certain I, I don't see anybody asking for specific things. Um, but um, business for me is is good. Um, the prints that I have for sale around the place. Um, <clears throat> there's prints on the wall in in the Ritz Gallery. Um, the which is run by Chris Christian. Mm -hmm. um, there are there is a gallery, a, dready, a dedicated Dreddy gallery at um, at Picture This uh, in Caymana Bay. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lovely spot. You should go visit it. You know, uh, holidays are here. I'm on the road. Yeah, more. yes. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, yeah, the the Dreddy stuff just kind of it sells. Mm -hmm. um, and. I can't think of anything that's that's specifically sells more than other things. People come, and there's, you know, on the wall in 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 um, picture this, there's ninety something dreadies, uh, and you know, people come and pick one and pick another. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you on social media? I am on Facebook, social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all yes. the whole night. Yes. Yes. What kind of following do you have there? <laughs> um. <clears throat> Whether or not you want to be, you yeah, have to do yeah, it, I'm yeah. sure. You do, you do have to do it, you know. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, so, well, I use the three things completely differently. Uh -huh. So Facebook, naturally, um, I think of Facebook as like a cocktail party that you might go to, you know. Um, virtual. Of, yeah, a virtual <laughs> cocktail party. So you think of it in, in those terms. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, Twitter is... Twitter is used a lot by British people, so mm -hmm. I, I, I use it in in that way. Um, Instagram, well, everybody uses Instagram yes. now. Um, my followings are pretty good, actually. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And I encourage everyone listening, just go on, let him know what traction he's gotten here on mm -hmm. by, by being on the business buzz. Now, I just, as an artist, how important is it in networking and showing support for other local artists, crafts, and artisans? I think, I think that's... That's important in in any in any business environment. You, you know, if you have friends um, that you believe in, mm -hmm. then you know, on on social media at every opportunity, if I see something a friend has has done art wise that I like or share it, 
How hard is that? You know, it's just yeah. a click of it's just Literally. a click of a button. And then generally, you'll see uh, actually um, around that people work together and have like group shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then a lot of the you know, Chris Christian at at the the Ritz Gallery, they're very supportive of Caymanian artists. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, anybody who comes to them and says, "Boy." I'd like to hang some art on a wall. They try and help them to, yes. to do that. Yeah, awesome. and the Ritz is part of that. That um, yeah, giving giving persons yeah. that opportunity I to get so. their work out there. Yeah. Now, what factors contribute to the value and cost of the piece of artwork? In your opinion on that? Um, well, there's there's time in the game. Um, there is um, your your saleability. Uh, Look, we've got a really sexy market here, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and people people are willing to pay money for for art. Um, so even entry level human beings into the business seem to to be able to get a good price point. But yeah, so time, what people are willing to pay, you, you know, there, there's no sense to put a two dollar value on your art when people won't pay the two dollar value, um, <clears throat> and if Adversely, if you can put a three dollar value and they will pay it, then, then why not? Why not? Yeah. Um, so all of those things, yeah. Time in the game is is time in the game, but also um, provenance. Um, if you're doing shows at a national gallery level, then y your work should demand more than than somebody who isn't. Yeah? Now it's one thing being an artist, <laughs> and there's another thing of being an entrepreneur. How do you marry the two? Because your your whole being is about art. Yeah. Have you did you do you have you ever think about well maybe if I can just compartmentalize some of these things and just do what I do best and and outsource someone marketing yeah, yeah. has that ever crossed well, your mind? I think I think probably the 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 deal is that maybe the marketing is what I do. Best. <laughs> oh really? I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, you know, um. <clears throat> Yes, so I think perhaps you should if there are things that you're not you're not good at. Um, that's what galleries are for, and and, and these mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. if, if you're not you know if you're not able to do the marketing yourself, for me it's the marketing's fun for me. I, I like it. Um, okay. Maybe it's part of my personality. Maybe you're and an outgoing, bubbly person. Maybe, maybe. Um, and then the art. Well, you know, it is. It's, I can see a little bit of this personality. Yeah, perhaps. I've yeah. met you uh, 10 minutes yeah. and I, I, I figured you out kind of. Uh. <laughs> now, are there other items that you plan to offer at Dreddy World? We we kind of dabbled into yeah. that at the beginning. Christmas um, is here. Christmas excellent is stocking here. stuffers. Excellent little just giveaway at, at the Christmas parties or Christmas luncheons. Yes. Um, it's here. The National Gallery has, uh, I think I said earlier, the National Gallery has some really cool stuff. Um, so there's um, a couple of dready pieces in the National Collection, mm -hmm. um, and they have taken those and they have stuck them. There's a gorgeous, there's a lovely um, uh, sketchbook, mm -hmm. um, a tin of pencils, colored mm -hmm. pencils that you can draw in your sketchbook. A coffee mug, so you can have coffee while you draw. I prefer Milo. Ah, uh, well, I, I love Milo. <laughs> Pizza came about bread. We're good to I go. Love, I love Milo. Um, and they have cards. Um, the National Trust um, is doing a dready Christmas card. Mm -hmm. uh, and nice. Fortunately, they sold out the first batch Excellent. and have ordered more. Excellent. Um, so if you want to get your dready uh, and it's donation to the National Trust. Yes. Um. And what else? Who what? else has stuff? So the Ritz, the Ritz has coffee cups and um, and some other things. Can and you then order the, online, like through you, your Facebook? How no, does that work? Or you well, have to go through? No, no, no. You can order online for things like prints. Okay. And commissions. Um, always happy to take commissions. Hello. Why not? Uh, <laughs> but the cups and stuff, you've got to go to the Ritz. You've got to go to the National Trust. You've got to go to the National Gallery. All of these things are worth going to, by the yes. way. Um, and... Regularly, prints are on the wall at the Ritz. Mm -hmm. They're on the wall at, at the um, gallery and picture this. Okay. Yeah. We're going to take another break. When we come back, we'll understand giving back, the importance of giving back to the community, and valuable tips for artists. I'll take your spin on that. Keep it locked to the Business Buzz for more after these messages.
Cayman Medical Supplies, now providing Cayman Brac with medical supplies. Call 949-6211. And Cayman Medical Supplies will arrange to ship from wheelchairs and walkers to all kinds of medical supplies. Your order will be shipped to you either by Cayman Airways or Thompson Shipping for one agreed upon price. Telephone 949-6211. Cayman Medical Supplies, located at number 93 Smith Road, Windward Center, providing quality pharmaceuticals, medical supplies, and consumer products to healthcare providers, retailers, and ultimately the patients at a reasonable rate in a friendly, caring, and timely manner. This holiday, Logic is helping you mix and match. So, whether it's reggae jingle bells or wearing plaid with Santa sweaters, anything goes. It's all about the freedom to choose, like mixing and matching your Logic services. The more you spend, the more you save. Plus, we're doubling our internet speeds, which means you're getting the island's fastest internet at up to 30% less than the competition. It's like Christmas all year round. Visit logic.ky to learn more. Terms and conditions apply. Preventing dengue is as simple as preventing mosquito bites. Use a mosquito repellent, wear protective clothing, and stay indoors during early dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are most active. Control the places around you where mosquitoes breed. Remove stagnant water in outdoor and household settings. As a weekly habit, persons should change the water in vases. Clear the water in sources under potted plants and ensure air conditioner drip trays are free of stagnant water. Outdoor objects capable of holding water should be kept empty and preferably disposed of or put into dry storage if not used. These include open bottles and tins, watering cans, buckets, empty paint tins, and old vehicle tires. Do your part to control the spread of dengue. The dengue virus is an infectious disease transmitted through mosquito bites. Symptoms may come on as early as four days or as late as three weeks following an infection. There is no vaccine or specific medication to treat dengue. Symptoms of dengue include high fever, headache, pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, and rash. If persons have any of these symptoms, they should go to the nearest health center or hospital. It is advised to drink lots of liquids and avoid medication that contains aspirin. Welcome back to the Business Buzz, the business topics that matter, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. The Business Buzz. Business Buzz right back here on Radio K Man. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, keeping the spotlight on Dready Art. In what ways does Dready Art give back to the community, and why is that so important? Well, you're as you and I were talking about a little earlier. Um, as you were messaging with your with your community, <laughs> um, you live in a community, right? Yes. Um, and we are here, and we are part of a of a greater thing. And I think that it is important that you participate mm -hmm. in that. Um, and if you're like me, who is not a political person, then you have to find another way to 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 yes. do that. Um, so. Amongst amongst the art that I do, and, and it's not just just locally. It's things that 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 feel good to me, or I buck up a customer, um, and it's something that feels good to to them. Um, so there are pieces of art that donate. Every sale donates a little bit to to, to, to charity. Yeah. That must be fulfilling. Um, yeah, I guess I, I don't really think about it as fulfilling. Just, just part of, of you know, who, who we should be. Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't take any skin off my nose because it. I, I'm not donating without a sale. Mm -hmm. So the sale generates money. There's enough in it for everybody, exactly. and and so, and it's not every sale. You know, it's a few of them. What tips would you offer aspiring artists who may wish to get involved in the business of art? Um, well, there's a few things. I think um, hustle is is the big is the big thing. Um, what I said to you earlier that, from my personal feeling, that um, don't think of art, drawing, painting, sculpting as your business. Think about selling mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. art painting sculpture um as your business and work from that perspective um so you, you need to spend time with your social media you, you know even if you have a gallery representing you they may re yes. represent 10 12 20 people so you have to put in your work to sell your work as well 
and then, you know, at the same time as creating work. Um, and it, it, it's been a great and fulfilling life for me. You know, I've been a, I've been a full time artist now for six years or something like that, mm -hmm. six and a half years. Um, I did a lot of work to get to that point. Right. Uh, yeah, so it's nice. How do you keep yourself relevant, understanding where technology is going that could assist you in preserving yeah, so, what you've done? Boy, I wish I was better at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because I'm I'm working in a in a world where it's just it's just me. Right. Um, it would be better to be to be more uh, technologically savvy. Um, savvy. You know, there's things that I would I would like to do. I'd like to learn how to do simple animation. Um, mm -hmm. And I haven't haven't done that yet. Right. Um, and I mean simple animation, mm -hmm. just getting something. Not, you know, we were we were <laughs> chatting about um, Sean Bodden's awesome animation. Uh -huh. All I want to do is get a flat thing to go across, a flat background, <laughs> and boy, it's causing me trouble. You know? Do you foresee yourself out of school, but yet having to go back to do courses in order yeah. to to take it to the next I, level? I, I, yes, I don't see anything wrong wrong with that. Um, it's finding the time and, and the moment to mm -hmm. to do that, and, and I think. You know, keeping relevant, as you said, yes. learning. Um, <clears throat> you know, we, I mentioned Guy Harvey a, a little while ago. Years ago, here's a man who, who sells art and prints and stuff all around the world. And people line up to get his signature. And I was chatting to him one day and um, he'd been going to a course. He'd, he'd, been, he'd been going to see a guy helping him simplify what he, he did um, teaching him how, how, you know, he already knows how to paint, but how to paint in a different way. So here's a, you know, a almost 60 year old man mm -hmm. at the height of his game, still going back to, to learn. Uh, another artist friend of mine, he's, um, he's joined an art critique school. So he does art. And again, he's a man, I mean, a brilliant artist, and he's still going back okay. and, and having people look at his work and help him move forward. Now, can you recap about products, gifts, ideas for the upcoming Christmas holidays and, um, you know, what what is available? Whatever you'd like to stick with our listening and viewing audience yeah. this morning. So, uh, again, um, uh, if if the audience would like to go and visit the Dreddy Gallery inside, picture this. Um, it's, a, it's a cool, fun space. Um, I, did a, I did a show once, and this room is like that. Um, somebody described the show as being a room full of fun. Mm -hmm. And this little gallery is a room full of fun. Um, the the National Gallery, it's worth a visit to the National Gallery anyhow. Anyway, yeah. um, and if you're in there, there's some cool little dready products. Um, the Ritz, uh, always good to go and have a wander around there and see how the other half mm -hmm. lives. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and to take a look at, at, at Chris Christian's gallery in there because it's it's unique in Cayman in that everybody and anybody mm -hmm. can be in there um yeah so or just give me a you know give me a scream and we can chat about about prints and and stuff there's 200 and something dready print series mm -hmm. um and maybe maybe there's 120 of them on walls you know okay. um both here and abroad yeah well, Mr. Akar, it has been a pleasure speaking with oh. you, and definitely you've given me that little shot of something that I needed this morning to get me going. Just, just your, just your aura. Thank you very and it, much. And it's obviously displayed in in some of the the, the nice keepsakes that you've brought for me this oh, morning. My but pleasure, Marcus, my pleasure. Thanks for having thank me on. Thank you so much. We've been speaking with owner of Dreddy Art, Mr. Shane Akar. Uh, it is our pleasure to 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 have him in studio. And we hope that you visit the National Gallery, Gallery Ritz Carlton, and like him on Facebook. Go on his social media pages to prove definitely that you are listening to him on this show. Now, the Business Buzz is brought to you every Tuesday and Thursday and would not be possible without the kind sponsorship of Cayman Medical Supplies, Cayman Insurance Center, and FSH Design. Again, we want to thank your loyal supporters uh, for your continued support. Until Thursday, have a safe and fabulous Tuesday. 
The Business Buzz is proudly sponsored by Cayman Medical Supplies. Call them at 949-6211. Cayman Insurance Center, celebrating 45 years in the Cayman Islands, specializing in property, life, and other lines of insurance products and services. And also brought to you by FSH Design. Let your imagination grow with FSH Design. Visit fshdesign.com today. Bless them when they rain, no stress in the 